Hey everybody, my name is Patrick McBride. I am the founder uh, and the agency owner here at the McBride Agency. We have been on a mission for the last uh, number of months, almost a year at this point, to create uh, educational videos or content or resources for uh, everybody in you know and out there in the world, everybody to come, uh, whether you're a client of ours or not, and gain some knowledge and some information. And that's rooted in a in a pretty core moment uh, for my wife and I. And it's part of the reason that we started our agency. It's part of. It's not part of. It's it's really the only reason that we're in insurance. Um, and I wanted to take a moment and kind of share that today. So today is uh, March 9th of 2023. And it's actually the anniversary of the passing of our daughter, Erin. And this day always is hard for me uh, for a number of reasons, and I'm sure that you can imagine. Um, but through this tragedy in our lives, uh, 14 years ago, we, we grew. Uh, our family grew closer together. We, we definitely grew as people. Uh, we grew in our faith and were really galvanized by a community of, of people that we now consider family, whether they are blood or not, as well as our church family. We were really able to be very blessed in, in a lot of what happened in the days and weeks following this event. Uh, but I'm, I'm here to share a little bit about why we're in insurance, because most of my, most of my colleagues in insurance, whether they uh, work in our agency or anywhere across the country, we, we are connected with a number of other agency owners and uh, agency principals and founders and, and tech giants and some great companies out there. And no one really uh, was born with a passion for insurance. And, and some people we know, uh, you know, they, they inherited an agency from their family or they grew up in an agency and they, they took over from mom or dad. And, uh, and we are super excited to see them succeed. Uh, we didn't have that option. And, and a lot of folks will tell you that that's not something that they wanted or that they really strove for or even thought that they would want to do. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, like, we are in insurance for a reason. And, and everything I've said to this point is, is kind of helping me get to that point, I guess. Um, when, when we lost Aaron, there was obviously struggle uh, emotionally and financially and, and all of the things that came, came with that. Our, our community rallied around us and did not uh, create. They actually, they actually took care of all of the additional expenses that would have come with that. And we had to pay nothing out of pocket. And we were extremely blessed. However, I, we had lost her on a Monday, and by the following week on Tuesday, uh, I was back at work because I needed to be, because I had bills to pay and we had uh, a lifestyle that needed, I mean, we had car payments and rent and, you know, we had other kids and mouths to feed, like things had to get taken care of. So we had to go back to work. From there, what, what I would only describe as an emotionally appropriate amount of time, um, what we considered our insurance agent. She was a uh, producer for uh, an agency in, in our town in Texas, in Wichita Falls. Uh, Marcy reached out and said, hey, I wanna talk to you about some things. Do you have some time? Can you and Misty come in? So we did, we sat down. We didn't really know what to expect. We were, we were young, you know, mid to late 20s at this point. We had a five and six year old and we had just lost a daughter. We're, we're, we're obviously, at this point, just kind of moving through some of the motions of life. And Marcy sat us down and she had a conversation about some life insurance. And, and this is not at all a pitch for life insurance. If you have some, great, go get more. Uh, if you don't have some, uh, not great, go get some. You don't even have to call our office. I don't care who you call, call someone, put together a policy today, you don't have enough. Even if you think you do, you don't. Uh, but when Marcy sat us down and she had this conversation with us, she told us, uh, a lot of things, and, and none of it is recallable at this moment. We knew that it was the right choice for our family. We bought a policy, we moved on. Uh, from there though, it helped me realize that if that policy was in place, I would not have had to go back to work immediately. Um, I would have had a couple of weeks to take off and help my family or be with my family while we healed, to be with my family while they healed and actually take some time to grieve and not doing so had some ripples in our, in our lives and in mine and my wife's and my kids. Um, but ultimately, the reason I'm sharing this today is because we saw the value of one person who didn't even own the agency she worked in, 
We saw the value of a conversation of someone who knew how to offset the financial burden of loss, whether it was loss of a family member or the loss of a car because of an accident or a house because of a fire. We saw the value of the education in someone who cared. And I told Misty not long after that conversation that if I ever got a real job, uh, big air quotes there because I had jobs, uh, just not what I would consider real jobs. I, I, I played house a lot with the bicycle industry and playing with bikes and riding and racing and justifying a, a hobby uh, that really was probably more of a habit, uh, but I digress. Uh, if I ever get a real job, it would be in insurance. And when we started to make some transitions in our life and started looking for that next step in my career and leaving the bicycle industry, I knew that this was the only industry for us. And we started to pursue what would be the right avenue. And our first option, we had, we had joined an agency to go and learn and understand because regardless of me owning one or not, I had no experience with insurance outside of having it, which I'm sure uh, most of the people watching this uh, could, could relate with that. You have insurance, you have experience with a claim that you may have, uh, but no real advocate to understand pieces. This is a licensed industry. You have to have a license to sell insurance uh, in the state of Illinois or whatever state you're in. There's, there's no difference between the states here in, in the U.S. So there's so much information out there. We decided that we were going to be that resource. And when we opened our doors... Uh, for our first agency on April 1st of 2017, we said that one of the founding principles would always be a level of care and concern and offering of that education to the point where you're comfortable. That if you want to know more, we will dig in as far and as deep as you want to, line by line if need be. Or if you just trust that what we're offering you is great, we, we could not be more honored. Uh, but today, I wanted to take a second just to share that while there are some incredible people out there in the world, not, not while there are, there are some incredible agents out there in the world, some right here in Dixon. There are, there are a number of fantastic agents and agencies right here in town. And we are so proud to be part of such a tremendous community that supports each other uh, inside the insurance industry. Uh, I wanted you to understand where we came from, why we're here, why we do what we do, and, you know, like I say in most of our videos, we're here for you to answer any questions, whether you're a client of the McBride Agency or not. Today is no different. Uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of my heart and maybe make today a little bit easier for me and share some insights with you on why we're here and why we do what we do. So if you're still here, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you're a client of the McBride Agency or not, it does not matter. We will answer any question that you have. Uh, even if we have nothing at stake for it, we'll give you all the insights we can.